it needs to be cleaned and sent south to the Everglades. Uh, local activists raising awareness about a toxic algae bloom now affecting half the state. Plus, police catch a suspect who was about to blow up a whole building. Find out how he picked his target. And a warning for citizens on Longboat Key why police say you should be checking who is servicing your home. Your Suncoast News starts right now. You're watching ABC 7 News at 6.30. And welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Adam Cellini and we start tonight with some of those scattered storms that moved through the Sun Coast earlier today. I myself got caught in it on my way to work. Here's a live look right now at our tower cam uh, showing you downtown Sarasota. Hopefully, eventually, maybe not. Anyways, we'll uh, we'll check in with Wendy Ross. She is here. I know that for a fact, <laughs> and she's going to tell us uh, how the area will look for the rest of the night. Wendy. Oh my goodness, things have really, really changed. So here we had these showers earlier in the day taking place. You can see them right here along the coastline. But right now things have really quieted down. So we're just getting some cloudy weather right here at the coast and east of I-75 is where we're seeing some of the showers and the thunderstorms right now. They're moving on up towards the north and northwest. So over Parish, we're starting to see some of that rain coming on through. But you'll notice that as these storms filter out, we're left with nothing. So we've got partly cloudy skies now for the rest of the night, and we're looking at mostly cloudy conditions along the coastline. And as those storms move on up towards the north, we're going to let be left behind with just some cloudy weather with the rain showers coming back into the picture not until tomorrow morning, so we don't have to worry about any of the rainfall coming on in. Right now, as far as temperatures are concerned, we're going to keep them on the warm side. You'll notice they stay warm until 1 o'clock this morning, 80 degrees then, and we're going to be seeing mostly cloudy skies with the opportunity for showers to develop during the morning hours. So we'll be talking about that in just a few minutes, and we'll also let you know what's going on in the tropics. Some interesting developments there that we'll share with you in just a bit. Adam? All right, thank you, Wendy. A new addition to the Lido Key shoreline. Take a look, some heavy duty sandbags recently put up in some of those eroded areas. You'll be seeing more of these as hurricane season continues. Uh, they're extra hefty and meant to protect the dunes. According to Sarasota's city manager, these will remain in place through the 2018 hurricane season. Well, several concerned Floridians came together to raise awareness and demand action today about the toxic algae problem in Lake Okeechobee as the water in Lake O continues to discharge into the St. Lucie and Caloosahatchee rivers. Residents of Southwest Florida worry it's leading to red tide problems there and harming their sea life and also economy. ABC 7's Jackie Kelly talked with some some of those who joined the Save Our Fisheries convoy earlier today about their demands. Adam, concerned citizens who attended the rally tell me that this problem affects everybody from fishers to homeowners, and now they're saying enough is enough. The Save Our Fisheries convoy met up in Punta Gorda and traveled to Lake Okeechobee in a group to raise awareness and promote politicians to make a change. Some say they've seen toxic algae blooms before, but few like the red tide Southwest Florida has endured this year. The powerful bloom has lingered near Lee County for over a month. Florida Congressman Ron DeSantis, who's campaigning for governor, showed up to the event and says more water should be sent south instead of to our coastlines. The solution is going to be we have to stop discharging this polluted water into the Caloosahatchee and St. Lucie rivers. Uh, it needs to be cleaned and sent south to the Everglades as intended. And if you do that, you'll be able to fix uh, a lot of the problems here. Plans for a new reservoir project south of Lake Okeechobee were approved by the U.S. Army Corps. Corps of Engineers earlier this week, but it still could be years before it's built. People who attended the rally said that they won't stop until their voice is heard, and they urge people at home to reach out to politicians until something is done. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jackie. Police in Longboat Key have seen an increase in contractors and other home improvement workers stealing jewelry and other items from homes. Longboat Key police are urging people to be extra careful and aware when someone is working on their properties. Jewelry, cash, and other items have been missing from some people's homes on Longboat Key, and in a lot of those cases, it's come at the hands of service people who are working there. 
Police say hundreds of thousands of dollars in valuables have been stolen from homeowners by these service workers in different parts of Longboat Key. What we're trying to do is just um, encourage people to use more common sense and just when a, when a person comes into your home that you don't know, just either accompany these people around the house while they're doing their job uh, and leave uh, fewer items in plain view of value. Surveillance cameras and license plate recognition has helped lead to tracking down these suspects and Longboat Key Police are currently in the middle of a few other investigations. New details tonight of a deadly car accident in Bradenton. Police say a person was crossing US 41 last night around 9 o'clock and walked in front of a car traveling northbound. When police arrived, they took that person to the hospital, but he succumbed to his injuries. This is an ongoing investigation, and police are still trying to locate the victims next of kin. Florida Highway Patrol want to help reduce these kinds of accidents in Manatee County. On Monday, they'll be introducing a program called PEDS, which stands for Pedestrian Education and Developing Safety. FHP says the purpose is to lower the number of injuries and deaths through education and enforcement. They'll be focusing on areas prone to pedestrian and bicyclists involved crashes. The first PEDS meeting will be this Monday on Cortez Road West and 26th Street West from 9 to 11 in the morning. Some good news for Manatee County. New reports by Manatee County Sheriff's Office show a significant decrease in the amount of overdoses in the area. In the first six months of 2018, deputies responded to 156 overdose deaths, uh, excuse me, overdoses with just 18 deaths. That is far less than the first half of 2017, where there were several more overdoses and 85 deaths. Law enforcement also cracking down on drug arrests. Yesterday, four men were charged with distributing more than two kilograms of heroin in Manatee County. Rafael Sanchez and Jerome Miller are from the area and the other two men are from Orlando. The U.S. Attorney's Office says the DEA conducted a search warrant at a home in Dade City where the four are accused of cutting up pure heroin to sell on the streets of Manatee County. The men face a life sentence in federal prison. A man accused of wanting to burn down an entire condominium is in police custody today. Miami Beach police arresting 72-year-old Walter Stopler this week, charging him with first-degree attempted arson and attempted murder. This is the video of the storage unit of the condominium. Stopler is accused of wanting to burn, burn down. Uh, police say they found 28 containers of gasoline, sulfur powder, and potassium nitrate. Cops say Stopler had an anti had anti-Semitic views and wanted to kill Jewish people. A close friend of his actually uh, a close friend of his actually called the police once he learned of these plans. We've learned that he was facing an upcoming eviction. Uh, yesterday, our officers, our detectives from our intelligence uh, unit, intercepted him with two filled gasoline containers. Cops say Stopler had already dumped about 15 of those containers down the trash chute, and they believe they intercepted what could have been a total disaster. Two suspected thieves were ready for the camera after their arrest. The couple was all smiles as they posed for a picture with arresting deputies in Volusia County. Last night, police have been looking for Matthew White and Amber Tainer since May. Officials say deputies nabbed them after the couple was spotted in a stolen car. Despite those smiles, the uh, prospects don't look good for either of them. They are facing charges of grand theft, possession of narcotics, and more. Former Democratic U.S. Representative Gwen Graham says the decisions made in the November election could determine whether Florida strips away abortion rights. She, uh, she told a group of women today that the fact she is uh, the only woman among the seven major candidates seeking to replace Republican Governor Rick Scott puts her in the best position to preserve those. Graham says abortion rights guaranteed in Roe v. Wade will probably be overturned if Brett Kavanaugh 
President Trump's pick for the Supreme Court ends up on the bench. That will leave states to decide whether to take away or protect abortion rights. She said the election is important for two reasons. The next governor could veto an abortion ban passed by a Republican-led legislature and because three Florida Supreme Court justices are retiring. And the Florida Department of State wants, to, uh, wants you to know Floridians were not hacked by Russians during the 2016 presidential election, releasing a statement saying, quote, to be clear, the 2016 elections in Florida was not hacked in any way. As we have stated multiple times, the Department of State was notified by the Department of Homeland Security in September of 2017 that Florida was unsuccessfully targeted by hackers in 2016. This attempt was not in any way successful in Florida's online election databases and voting systems remained secure. The department is focused on the continued security and integrity of Florida's elections in 2018 and beyond. Well, coming up on your Suncoast News, the story of a woman who went missing after her car plunged off a cliff and was found safe and sound today. Plus, a jaguar loose at a New Orleans zoo, closing the park for the day. We have the details about the casualties. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right, for one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Did you know that a dirty CPAP system can make you sick? If you knew what could be growing in your mask and hose, it would keep you up at night. <gasps> now SoClean.com has released the world's first and only automated hands-free CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. With its patented design, SoClean is fast, effective, and hands-free, killing 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs. Try SoClean now through this special TV offer free for 30 days. Just call 800-604-0398. My health has improved. It's simple to use, and I'm not worried about infections. SoClean works on all CPAP machines and popular masks, destroying CPAP bacteria, viruses, and germs without the daily hassle of washing your system by hand. Just place your mask in, close the lid, and in just minutes, voila, sanitized and ready to use. Try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. This is a limited time offer. Call now, 800-604-0398, or visit SoClean.com today. The skills you develop as a soldier in the Army National Guard can give you a head start on your career. Gain practical experience with technology and equipment that will give you a leg up in the civilian world. Learn critical leadership skills and to be part of a team. Serve your community and your country part-time while earning money for an education. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn about the paid training and career opportunities available to you in the Army National Guard. WWSB ABC7 is an equal opportunity employer, and we're looking for qualified people to join our dynamic team. For a list of current openings and to apply online, visit www.mysuncoast.com slash contact slash employment. If you're a motivated team player and you want a rewarding career in a fun, fast-paced working environment, WWSB ABC7 could be the perfect fit for you. Check out our list of openings now. A missing Oregon woman found in California suffering from what appears to be only minor injuries after her car plunged off a cliff. Here's ABC's Dave Packer with the details of that story. 
A happy ending in the search for Angela Hernandez, the 23-year-old Oregon woman missing for more than a week. We just found word that my sister was found. Hernandez left Portland last week, headed to her sister's home in Southern California. She texted her sister the morning of July 6th, telling her she was getting back on the road after spending the night behind this Safeway in Half Moon Bay in San Mateo County. Angela always answered her phone and always replied. and. By, you know, she left here right before 8 a.m. By 10 o'clock, Isabel called her, and Angela wasn't answering anymore. It would ring and go to voicemail. San Mateo County handed the investigation over to the Monterey County Sheriff's Office after surveillance video showed Hernandez traveling south on Highway 1. Using her cell phone, authorities were able to trace her location to an area about an hour south of Half Moon Bay, but a search by air Friday morning turned up no sign of Hernandez. A couple walking on the beach in Big Sur discovered Hernandez near a trail 200 feet down a cliff, her car partially in the water. Big Sur Fire, California Highway Patrol, and the Monterey County Sheriff's Department all responding to the scene. Hernandez telling rescuers to stay hydrated. She used a radiator hose to siphon water from a nearby stream. Her sister overcome with emotion. I just want to thank everybody, everybody. Um, I'm sorry, I'm like in shock. <laughs> Um, yeah. everybody that helped. It's day seven, and you guys all helped us do the whole thing. Hernandez was taken to a nearby hospital for treatment of her injuries. Dave Packer, ABC News, New York. Just incredible. Well, this next story involves a jaguar on the loose, a shutdown zoo, and multiple dead animals. That was the site today at the Audubon Zoo in New Orleans. A jaguar escaped its habitat, killing six other animals, according to zoo officials. While there were no human injuries, we did suffer the sad loss of four alpaca, one emu, and one fox that lived in nearby habitats. They were attacked and did not survive. Those zoo officials are now investigating how the jaguar managed to get out. They say it only took about an hour to sedate and put the animal back in its cage, and it will reopen the zoo again tomorrow. We'll take a look at this aerial view of Puerto Rico's forest before and after Hurricane Maria. To get the high resolution photos, NASA used an airborne instrument in the belly of a small plane flying a thousand feet above those trees. The before on the left is from spring of 2017. That after on the right was taken just this past April, seven months after that storm hit. A NASA spokesman says from the air, the scope of the hurricane's damages was startling. Startling indeed, just a total land change, and uh, certainly part of what we expected as we watched that storm come in. Just a you know geographically changing storm, powerful. Well, and you you remember with Charlie, and you remember with Andrew along the west coast of Florida. If you did any traveling through those areas, the unbelievable reality of what happened in those locations was just startling. And we're not looking at any problems right now. We're going to get to the hurricane uh, season in just a moment. We're going to get to the tropics in just a second. But right now we are looking at cloudy weather along the west coast of Florida and not much else. There are a few showers, but most of those showers are inland. They're moving on up towards the north. We had some heavier rain, some good downpours that came on through. And that's what happens this time of the year. You know, we get these light and variable winds that come on in and then all of a sudden you end up with these showers that form and they rain out right where they stand and so that's pretty much what took place today especially along the coastline and now we're seeing some of these showers east of I-75 moving on up towards the Tampa Bay region leaving us with cloudy conditions. And so we're not looking at a whole bunch of rain that's going to be developing later on tonight. As a matter of fact, it's going to be mostly cloudy for the rest of the evening. Those showers are going to be lifting on up towards the north, the ones that are still around. And then during the early morning hours, I'm talking four or five o'clock tomorrow morning, we're going to start to see some showers developing along the west coast of Florida. Some of those could actually make their way onshore, so there's the possibility of that. And then during the afternoon hours, we're going to get those rains. One once again with the sea breeze coming on in, developing east of I-75 and pretty much doing the dance that they did today 
again tomorrow. 92 is our daytime high. Plenty of sunshine around. That's what helped to bring those temperatures up. 76 the overnight low. Normally we're 90 and 75 degrees for this time of the year. And you'll notice that we're still seeing a lot of 80s and a lot of 90s on the map still. But across our area, we've got the upper 80s in Bradenton, Sarasota. Venice, 81 degrees after some good downpours there. You'll see where the showers have fallen. Mayaka City and Northport, those are temperatures in the 70s. And you can see where we're looking at some hotter temperatures well over the central part of the state where they really haven't had a whole lot in the way of rainfall. So they're looking at Sebring of 94 and 92 degrees in Lake Placid. Now we're going to head out to the tropics. And this is the area we're watching. Do you remember Barrel from last week in the Caribbean? Or the far Atlantic, I should say. Now it's right here off the coastline of the United States. And you can see this counterclockwise circulation. There it was. You saw it for just a second. And then it kind of just falls apart and fizzles. But this is what's going to happen over the next couple of days. So we've got tropical storm, subtropical storm barrel staying off the coast of the United States, moving and falling over towards the northern Atlantic. 40 mile per hour winds now no, moving to the northeast at around 14 miles per hour. And this is the track it's going to take. It's going to stay away from the U.S. mainland. We don't have to worry about it. And other Otherwise, we don't have any other concerns going on right now out in the tropics. If you're heading out to the beach tomorrow, winds start out out of the northeast and then they're going to shift around to the southwest at around 5 to 10 knots. And we could see some rain showers developing during the morning hours. We've got a 30% chance of rain, but morning hours and then later on in the afternoon. And then we go back to 40 to 50% chances for the rest of this upcoming week. It's summer, Adam. Now, sports. The Tampa Bay Rays entered Saturday two games above 500 after a tough loss last night in Minnesota and it looked like another seesaw game back there today, especially after the Twins took the lead in the bottom of the six on this double by Eddie Rosario, two runner score, but boy did the Rays answer in a hurry. Top of the seventh was a hit parade capped off with Joey Wendell's triple that scores Jake Bowers and CJ Crone. The Rays go up nine to six and never looked back. They score five runs in each of the last three innings, tying a team record 19 runs total. It wasn't the storybook ending many hoped for for Serena Williams at Wimbledon. The seven-time champ in London and new mother lost in straight sex sets to Angelique Kerber. It is the first Wimbledon title for Kerber and the third Grand Slam victory of her career. Williams was seeking a record-tying 24th Grand Slam just 10 months after giving birth to her first child. The men's semifinal was a classic. Novak Djokovic outlasting Rafael Nadal to advance to his fifth Wimbledon final. For over five hours, those two went back and forth, the second longest men's semifinal ever. Djokovic will face Kevin Anderson tomorrow, whose semifinal victory over John Eisner, or Isner, excuse me, is the second longest match period in Wimbledon history. More to come here on ABC7. Stay with us. So how many of us feel completely confident about our financial future? Let's hear some specifics. Yes, go ahead. I don't want to be a burden to my kids. When my husband died, it took almost all of our savings to give him a proper funeral. I honestly don't know if there's enough to bury me, let alone cover expenses should something happen. OK, let's talk solutions. One thing you may want to get in place is a guaranteed whole life insurance policy from United of Omaha Life Insurance Company, which is a mutual of Omaha company. This is affordable coverage, which provides a cash payment, which can cover funeral expenses, bills, and other financial needs. Most payments are on their way within 24 hours. Yes, sir. I need medical exams, you know, things like that. No medical exams. If you're between the ages of 45 and 85, you can call this number or you can go online and apply for coverage up to $25,000. United of Omaha Guaranteed Whole Life Insurance. Call or go online now. Designers do it with style. Tell me what's going on here. Because Why you don't like my hair? The Mark and Mandy Show. In-depth design ideas. What is up with the tuck tape here? Let's cover it up. Amazing beauty and fashion tips. So Halle Berry has amazing skin. She Her secret it. is coffee ground. No. Delicious recipes. Today I'm going to show you a special dish that is sure to please that special someone in your life. Watch the Mark and Mandy Show right here on your favorite channel. <laughs> 
I used to dread getting up and going to work. I was done with the corporate grind. I was tired of being a starving artist. And I started looking around for a business that I believed in, and I kind of wanted to do something a little more green. My score mentor helped me take the first step. He helped me create a business plan and helped me implement it. They've really taught me how to think big. SCORE helped me to make the unimaginable possible all for free. I'm here because of SCORE. I'm here because of SCORE. Get your free business mentor at SCORE.org. Okay, so what would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem-solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. So I kind of grew up all across the country. I come from five generations of military men. My dad is still active duty. My grandpa is retired Marines. I like going for runs with my dog. I love, you know, taking her out to the dog beach over in Venice. There are so many things here to do on the Sun Coast. My goal every day when I come into work at ABC7 is to tell your stories, give you that major local news and those details that you really care about. I'm Jacqueline Matter and I'm here for you. The Sarasota Amputee Group got a special sneak peek at Dwayne The Rock Johnson's new movie. He plays an amputee in that movie Skyscraper. As part of an awareness event, the group rented out an entire theater at Hollywood 11 in Sarasota. We want to get out into community and let the community know that there's amputees out there. Uh, we want to let other amputees know that there's support groups out there that they can connect with also. So that's one of the purposes of getting out into the community, letting the community know that we are here, letting other amputees know that we are here also to support them also. The Sarasota Amputee Support Group meets every third Thursday of the month at Blake Memorial Center in Bradenton at 530. And the last Saturday of the month, they meet every morning at Health South off of Bee Ridge Road in Sarasota. So fun afternoon out there, whole theater to yourself. And tonight's a great night to be out too. I mean, if you're gonna get outside, tonight's not gonna be a problem because we're not really expecting to see a whole lot in the way of rainfall. Cloudy weather, that's gonna stay with us. Those clouds will help to keep things nice and steamy and warm out there <laughs> until about one o'clock this morning. And by five o'clock tomorrow morning, we could see some morning showers along the coastline before we get the afternoon showers later on in the day. So we got the morning showers tomorrow, afternoon showers, right. yep. and are we expecting high temperatures in the before 90s, or after that as well? Right around 90 degrees, maybe even 91. There you go. Could Plan push accordingly. it to 92. I haven't decided yet. Shorts and tank tops, folks. <laughs> Shorts and tank tops. We'll see you back here at 11 o'clock. Have a good night. If you've been injured in an accident that wasn't your fault, and you're struggling to pay your bills while your case is dragging on, that's where Oasis Financial comes in. Only Oasis has Oasis Express Cash that can get you from $500 to $25,000 in as little as 24 hours, faster than anyone else. There's no risk and no out-of-pocket cost. It was so simple. I made one phone call. Oasis was able to give me the money within 24 hours. To pay for my electric bill, my rent, and my groceries for my children. And even if you end up losing your case, Oasis lets you keep the money, so there's absolutely no risk to you you don't have to worry about repaying Oasis. If I had lost my case, then I wouldn't be responsible for paying the money back. And that was a blessing. Oasis, they killed it, man. They helped me out. They, they gave me my life back. See how much money you can get before your case settles. Call Oasis Financial because life moves faster than your case. 1-800-874-8185. 1-800-874-8185. Download the all-new ABC7 First Alert Weather App now. 